Hi all, in this video we'll see how to work with hoverable drop downs. Let's take this example. Mouse over me is the hoverable drop down and hello world is the content displayed. So hoverable drop downs are nothing but which display the contents as we hover mouse over them. So in order to work with this drop down, let's scan these two controls to create a module mouse over me and hello world. Let's jump into Tosca, scan application, As you will notice, the mouse over me drop down is not directly displayed over here. So we'll go with select on screen, mouse over me. Okay. Now the hello world content is displayed as we hover mouse over it. So it is not readily available in the XCAN window. So what we can do, this is the go to approach for the disappearing or what we can say is visibly false elements increase the filter value to see if you can see that control increase it further let's see if it is available no so we'll increase it to the max yeah now you can see hello world and that's how you can select the control this was just to showcase you how to select these controls i have already created a module over here so now we'll jump into the test cases i have already created a test case over here and now we'll see how to perform the actions now we'll need to mouse over the mouse over me drop down so as a part of various click operations in tosca mouse over is one of them and then we'll click on the hello world so i have provided the values mouse over and click now let's give it a run all right so that's how you can work with the hoverable drop down using the click operation mouse over and then selecting the contents from the drop down that's all for now thank you